there are more Star Wars rumors, and why are there more Star Wars rumors, and why am I covering them? I mean, don't you know? I like pain. Because it's fun. Because it's always interesting to know what Lucasfilm tries to pull out of their, um, sorry, where the sun doesn't shine. So let's go check it out. Now, you might remember how last year there was a rumor about a crossover, a what if series crossing over between Marvel and the Star Wars universe. Yeah, nobody wants that. But that didn't happen. It was pretty much ruined right from the get go. Now, there is a new rumor coming out that Lucasfilm is going to make a what if Star Wars series. Now, I will be perfectly honest, I did not have this on my radar at all. If not, for WDW Pro and the rumor surrounding Rachel Zegler. Oh, that's a name that I like to drop. That's going to give me the views, isn't it? <laughs> but it's going to hurt my soul deep inside. It is. But this is what we have over at thatparkplace.com. Go check it out. Great site. Rachel Zegler appears to take shot at Lucasfilm after a Star Wars What If show rumored. Right. So my first initial thought was, holy crap, what in the hell does Rachel Zegler have to do with Star Wars? And we will be getting into this article. Maybe it's they're going to be telling us why. But my second thought was, could we get a Star Wars that is actually good in the What If series? How about no? There is no hope. Because, you know, they have their own Star Wars, Star War Disney Star Wars. The What If series could be what fans are looking for. I'm not saying that that's good. And it's kind of sad if you think about it. If you think about a What If series could actually be better than the Star Wars they give us. Mm. Now, the Hollywood handle had put out a tweet saying a what if version of Star Wars is reportedly in the works at Disney. Now, you know, I don't care about Rachel Zegler at all. She's a horrible person from everything we've seen of her. And I'm talking about the actress, not the character she portrays. If you go out and tell fans that they're misogynists and stuff like that, you lost all credibility. I don't care about you. Um, but this is kind of funny. She responds with what if somehow Palpatine returned? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I, I kind of like that. It sounds savage, right? I kind of like that. But of course, she couldn't keep her mouth shut. No, she had to continue. While it appeared Zegler was taking a shot at Lucasfilm, she then seemingly got serious and pitched herself as the voice of Poe Dameron's mother. What a surprise! She wrote, as a fan of the comics, I would like to throw my hat in the ring to voice Sarah Bay, mother of Poe Dameron, because her ship was an RZ-1, her initials, for Green Squadron. If Lucasfilm does indeed have a what-if style show in development, it would likely be modeled after their short story anthologies from a different point of view, which typically tell traditional stories from the point of view of more obscure characters. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the What If series, the official description from Marvel Studios and Disney Plus explains What If flips the script on the MCU, reimagining famous events from the films in unexpected ways. 
So you beautiful people out there, let me know your thoughts. What do you think of Rachel Zegler's tweets? Both of them. The first one I found personally very funny, taking a shot at Lucasfilm. The second one just showed me that she wanted to get on board on the new project, if this is a new project. It's still a rumor. Now, despite Rachel Zegler trying to get involved on this, do you think the What If series in Star Wars could give fans a little bit of what they actually want? A strong Luke Skywalker with a strong new Jedi Order? I don't know. It's up in the air. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. But stay tuned. There are more rumors. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to stick too long on this rumor, though. Not like the first one. A new rumor claims Daisy Ridley's Rey is connected to Sean Levy's upcoming Star Wars film and that Levy could replace Charmaine if things sour with her. And guess what? Things have soured with her. The fans don't want her because of the preachiness that she has already given us. Now, would Sean Levy do any better? I don't know. But what I do know is that this rumor is extremely funny to me. I think that Disney might actually be catching on. Maybe. With everything else going on at Disney, at Lucasfilm, with Nelson Pels having 10% of Disney shares trying to get on the board to make an actual change, I think it is impossible for Bob Iger or anyone at Disney, at Lucasfilm to ignore what is going on. So that means that this could actually be a turning point? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not really hopeful. I would like to be hopeful. I'm still a fan of Star Wars. I love Star Wars. We just haven't gotten Star Wars in such a long time. And I'll be honest, I absolutely loved Season 1 and Season 2 of The Mandalorian. Season 3 was abysmal. Everything else surrounding Disney Star Wars just wasn't great. Did I find a few good chocolate nuggets through all the shit that they gave us? Sprinkles never hurt a soul. Yeah, but I wasn't eating the chocolate nuggets because of all the shit. So that's my point of view. And you might have a different one. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think they're actually going to get rid of Charmin and have Levi or Levy do this film? Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button down below. You know, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications. Oh, and by the way, down in the description of this video, you can get a coffee brand coffee code that, you know, gives you some percentages off. So go check it out. Until next time, take care.